Hey guys, what's up? Lira Delance Corporal here. Today is Friday, so it's time for another Friday news, recruitment, and announcements video. I know I skipped the last one, and that's because some personal stuff came up, and it's still ongoing. And just a quick note on that before we get to our recruiting tab. Um, that's all going to finish up by this Sunday, and the only thing I need to now move is for this Sunday only, in a few days. Uh, we will not be starting at noon. We will start about two and a half hours late. So we'll be starting around 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Tier 2 and possible Tier 3 op. Again, I apologize, guys. Thank you for bearing with me. But after that, schedule is going to be fine. And uh, we got a lot of fun stuff to do. So anyway, guys, um, going into recruiting, if you want to come play within this community, uh, the best way to get a feel for things is to come join a Friday op. So this video is scheduled to go up at 10 a.m., on Friday, which means in six hours after its release at 4 p.m., we will start the Friday off. So if you want to come and join, uh, all you need to do is there is a TeamSpeak link in the, or excuse me, an IP down in the description below, the first thing. And you just need to put that IP into TeamSpeak and join the server. Uh, from there, if it's your first time on the server, just jump down to the help desk and message a tier five. Uh, they'll come up, talk to you, make sure you are qualified to play in this community. And when I say that, I really mean you just are 16 and older, you're not a squeaker, you seem competent, etc, etc. And uh, from there, you can then jump down to the Friday Operations channel, which is a little down below. Uh, if that is full, then feel free to join the Friday Standby channel. And uh, we'll get more into that into a second. But um, one more note I want to put here. We do limit it to 16 new people a week tops, and that's because any more, we tested this multiple times over multiple months, any more, and it just, the ops turn into a Charlie Foxtrot, and we don't really want to compromise everyone's uh, experience for the fact that we let way too many new people in at once. Also, it's because I my trainers that get people past tier one don't like to deal with uh, all the new people at once because it just makes trainings a lot more difficult. But uh, other than that, you'll uh, jump down into the Friday channel, and uh, by 3.15, make sure you're at your computer, because you can AFK there if you want, uh, till 3.15, because then we start doing AFK checks. And if you are not present, you'll be moved up to the standby channel, and then people from the standby channel will start being moved down to the channel below. And we do this because we need to start setting up for you guys to be able to play on the server. Uh, that'll take about 15 minutes, and then we get to 3.30, where we have squad leaders start organizing people into squads, and then as soon as that's finished, uh, we start getting people in squad by squad into the server. And this whole process takes about 30 minutes, and by then, uh, it'll be 4 p.m., and we will start with the three to four operations I have planned to you. So again, this is Syndicate Ops, so remember, get your objectives done, loot the stuff that you want to keep, and uh, we'll go from there. So <laughs> I hope you guys do enjoy it. Now, if you did enjoy that op and you want to join the community or if you just want to outright join this community uh, without uh, going through the Friday ops, because I know some people, not everyone has a taste for vanilla gameplay. Uh, you can just completely bypass that. The second link in the video description below is a link to our forums. Uh, you just need to make a forum account and... Um, attend a general training op to get from tier 0 to tier 1. And uh, that's hosted by any of our tier 5s. Uh, you just have to check our general schedule, and we won't really hold your hand through that. It's kind of up to you to know how to navigate a forum, because that's just a skill you need to have within our community. So don't bug the tier 5s about it. If you have a brain and common sense, which seems to be lacking in Arma, <laughs> you'll be able to find the weekly schedule, and uh, you'll be able to then, you know, come to a general training. They'll get your tier one, and then you'll be able to, you know, play on pretty much a majority of our operations. So, with that out of the way, there's our recruiting spiel for the week. Let's get into some of the more fun things, such as what you're seeing in the background right now, which was our first zombie op we did on Wednesday. Uh, I've just had this section where we start really throwing the spooks at them. <laughs> but uh, we've got three more zombie missions planned for this Halloween. Uh, two of them are currently available on our forms for sign-up. It's for any Tier 1 member or above. 
uh, just any standard member of our community. Uh, mod sets the tier one, excuse me, tier two mod set, as well as a few extra mods that are on the post for mainly for the map and some other things. But uh, otherwise, the next two missions are going to be more survival horror aspects where basically i've already heard some people do this but you're gonna crash land uh there's gonna be loot all around you just gotta find it and um <laughs> you won't have nvgs you won't have maps you won't have uh anything except really flashlights and maybe a select few of you will get compasses so it's all about the teamwork finding the necessary things possibly a radio or a map and then either radioing in help or getting home via finding a map and seeing a marked nato fob because you will be u.s soldiers for this operation so uh the first mission will be done on halloween itself and the second one will be kind of the halloween makeup for people that can't make that tuesday uh, which will be done on the 4th of November. And then I have a final op planned, which is going to be a really fun op involving the following mods. And uh, you might, you guys might uh, recognize some of these because we used all of them before. Except for one. Obviously, Zombies and Demons. Operation Trebuchet. HMCS, the mech add-on. And uh, Arm Stalker for some very tasty mutants. And I've been working on this project literally since the summer. That's how long this project has taken, and I think I'm about uh, ready to deploy it and uh, see how a patrol of futuristic quantities deals with some infected mutants. Oh, and I forgot to mention, Crisis Nanosuits. It's, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a fun op, but I hope the people take it semi-seriously, because otherwise it's just gonna devolve and the mutants are gonna eat everybody. <laughs> uh, other than that, the Halloween special events. Uh, after those are done, I'm planning on doing some other specific specialized events. Uh, I know some of you guys saw Tuesday's Operation Glacier. I'm still debating whether or not to even put that to YouTube, because that was stupid on stilts in terms of the level of incompetence. I'm actually planning on taking a group of people and redoing that, but as myself as the commander to show how that should have properly been done, because both of those attempts, there was just so much stupidity. <laughs> For tier twos, nonetheless, but uh, we'll do that. We'll have more of those uh, special type events where people can sign up. Uh, and I've got some other events planned uh, going into November and December. But other than that, it's just uh, some campaign work uh, for what I've got planned for other ops. I'm going to be changing the Lithium map for Tier 2 uh, in within the next few weeks. Uh, tier 1 is going to keep St. Capello for a while. Uh, and then other than that, uh, as I think I already mentioned, the Syndicate campaign will probably be changed and phased out to an AAF campaign. Uh, within the coming few weeks, if not months, just depending on how the player base takes it, because I, it, I, it's just too much for some people, and uh, I completely understand. But we have had some very strong commanders and players arise from it, which was the whole point of that campaign. Uh, in terms of, I know a lot of people have also been asking if I'll do a continuation on zombie content. Uh, I'm gonna rule it as uh, if people get a group going and they want me to make something zombie related for them i will just as i would do for any other type of operation you just got to get a group of players and ask me even if you're not in my community literally if you are just some random stranger and you want me to come do an operation for you you just got to email me uh down at my email suggest to leave at gmail.com uh i've already shown some people that there's literally I'll even look at the number. There's 11,046 unread emails in there, because that's also where people send me uh, operation details. But I usually do a filter and anything that has uh, requests for collabs or stuff like that, or mission requests. Uh, I try to do collabs as often as I can, because it's different people, you know, different game, different strategy, and I always love Zeusin for uh, guys and making cool content. So, um, yeah, other than that, that's all I really have planned. Still working on some edits for Operation Trebuchet, which we'll see next week on Thursday. Um, and I'm also thinking about messing with the crippling factor uh, for operations. Uh, especially for Operation Trebuchet, I gotta just completely nullify it because the calibers are way too deadly for crippling. Uh, and then I might also reduce its chance for general ops because it's just a bit of a pain. 
Well, except for zombies, ops, because if you're stuck crippling, you're screwed. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns, YouTube always has that comment section below, and I will get back to you. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Go operate operationally, and take care.